do wholeheartedly believe that the crossroads is the right location for the Royals. The owner of a building where the Royals wanted to build a new stadium talks to Fox 4 about the future of that site now. It comes more than a month after the failed sales tax vote in Jackson County that would have kept the teams here for decades. I'm Lauren Halifax. And I'm John Holt. A key part of the Royals' plan to move downtown was the old Star Press Pavilion, just south of the Power and Light District in the East Crossroads. Only on Fox 4 tonight, Jonathan Ketz joins us live from the site with new details on its future. John. John, that's correct. Tony Privatera called the selection of the site for the Kansas City Royals a little unorthodox earlier today, saying that it needed a little bit of tweaking. I have to move and do things and do things fiduciary for the building and for the ownership group. One of those fiduciary things may be moving past the stadium going in at this location. Tony Privatera told us Friday he's talking to the Patmos group about putting a data center into this lot. Privatera says a Royal Stadium going in the East Crossroads would have been a huge help to the South Loop project over I-670 getting complete. But since the vote failed just more than a month ago, the Royals haven't said whether they still want to go into this location or not. So whichever direction we go with the building, whether the building comes down and the stadium goes there, or we put a data center there, or we do an entertainment venue, the South Loop is what our downtown needs. Wednesday of last week, Mayor Quint Lucas said different groups were frustrated that more progress hadn't been reached to find out where the teams will be long term. That was just a day after a rendering came out of what a chief stadium could look like in KCK, even though the team wasn't involved in that design. I would expect that both the state of Missouri and Kansas City have real conversations about how we can move efficiently and effectively. That may not mean that you just see kind of renderings that come out of nowhere, but it does mean that I think we'll look at what are the appropriate tools to try to make sure these deals get done. Private Terra says he'll have a better idea in the next couple of weeks of what specifically the future is for the building behind us. In Kansas City, Jonathan Katz, Fox 4, working for you.